And I'm back again for another vlog. And this one is probably gonna look a little different. Not just because of the scenery. I uh, rearranged my whole apartment. Yeah, uh, like in the in the the big big room as I call it. I just switched everything ar around, so everything on the left is now on the right, and vice versa. And and also in the bedroom, I uh, also did a little bit of rearranging. Um, most, most because my parents uh, brought over my bike to my place. Uh, I, I got my bike for Christmas. No, oh, don't touch my face. <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah but uh, I got a new bike for Christmas and I was just keeping it over at my parents' house. Uh, in the winter, it, now that it's spring, they they brought it over my place, so now I don't have to drive over to their house so that I can ride my bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've been rearranging my whole apartment and I, I might do a little bit more rearranging just to try and make everything fit yeah yeah but that in this video is also going to be like a mental health check-in i guess uh, i mean first of all Look at this. I need a haircut really bad. I was pl planning on getting a haircut in March, but that's when everything shut down. So <coughs> I haven't got one yet. And, and I hate having my hair this long. I, you know, I hate <laughs> like this. I hate, I hate it when the hair falls into my eyes. That's how I know I need a haircut when the hair starts falling and covering my eyes. Yeah, yeah, it just really bugs me. But I just have to wait or else cut it myself, which I really don't want to do that. That might actually make it worse. <clears throat> but yeah, but anyway, yeah, my hair might actually be my biggest problem right now. <clears throat> I think, may, yeah, maybe, because cause I, I, I think I'm doing better, at least right now, than a lot of other people uh, during this pandemic. Yeah, I, I did lose my job uh, because of COVID, uh, but, but it was a seasonal job, which was going to end soon anyway. Although, probably still had about another month left of working. So I uh, missed out on two paychecks. Well, more like one and a half because they did end up paying me for the full, the, the last full week they, they paid everyone uh, for uh, the f 
five days of working. You, you know, I, I just work two, so yeah, it was like one and a half paychecks I missed out on. But I did get signed up for unemployment insurance. And now recently they, uh, you know, they passed another stimulus bill. Uh, <coughs> Congress passed a stimulus package, which included an extra $600 a week for people who have been laid off due to the coronavirus. So, so that just started showing up in my uh, bank account. So yeah, that's, that's great now. Cause unemployment insurance was $944 a month or $236 a week, which was just barely enough to cover my monthly expenses, not including food or anything else uh, that I bought in a store. So, Thanks to the, the extra money each week, now I'm doing good financially. I'm not watching my bank account get lower and lower. And, and yeah, you know, even so, I still had, uh, I still have my parents that can support me. They, they mentioned that, but, you know, I don't, I don't really want to go back and rely on my parents. If, if I don't have to, like if it's not a dire situation, but, <clears throat> but yeah, so, so now, I won't have to. And also, now I don't have to really worry about money for the time being. Uh, the six extra $600 a week is supposed to run out in July, I think. So, but hopefully I can get a job by then but hope, hopefully we'll be, you know, you know, like more up and running by then of the whole country. So yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll I think I'm gonna be good for now. So yeah, but, uh, yeah, but other than money, my mental health has just been mental health. It's, it's like a, I'm playing with like a, a squishy brain. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a fidget toy. I guess I'm, I'm using it as, but it's a good prop to have for this video. Yeah. Yeah, but my mental health is just, I don't know. Again, it's hard to, uh, it's hard for me to explain. Because if you saw my last video, you, you know why, uh, it's because of, Alexa Dynia. Yeah, but it's just, I guess it's been a little up and down. But lately I've noticed I've been having a little bit of trouble falling asleep. 
it's taken me longer to fall asleep lately. Not sure why. Maybe it's just because it's been getting warmer uh, at night and and I, I found that I, I don't sleep well when I'm too warm. So yeah, I, I've switched out my bed sheets so they're not like heavy flannel sheets and I'm using less blankets uh, so yeah I'm trying to see if that helps uh, yeah if it doesn't help then not sure why I'm having trouble falling asleep but. and and uh, my anxiety has been acting up more. Yeah, you know, I, I can just, just like feel it. Just like, just like, it feels like I'm on edge constantly. Like, like it, I just need to be rushing more and more, but what is there to do? So yeah, I, I don't know. Just, just that weird feeling I get when I'm anxious. And I, I've been getting it more and more. And I don't know why. Because, you know, overall I, I'm fortunate I know the the uh, COVID pandemic hasn't hit my family as hard as others. You know, my well, I guess everyone in my immediate family isn't working. Uh, I'm not working. My sister who just started her job. She was laid off because of uh, COVID. And my dad was already semi-retired. So now he's fully retired. He was actually working at the same Sears or I was working at, but he, he was just like uh, doing the, the snow report for them. So he was working from home and only for a few hours each day. But now he's not working at all. Uh, and also my mom is a teacher uh, which I guess actually she technically is still working, but all her teaching is done online. Uh, yeah, but she actually put in her retirement papers like in March, I think just before. No, 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 the pandemic started or the, the you know, Everything shut down in March, and I think she put in her retirement papers February, I think. So, yeah, she was already getting ready to retire. So, and she probably won't go back uh, to school. They won't allow kids to go back, so. So she just retired earlier than expected. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I'm, dude, I'm fortunate I'm to be doing so well. 
Uh, yeah, because I know this whole pandemic can be hard on people with mental health issues, not being able to go outside and not uh, getting close to people physically. And you, uh, yeah, and especially if they have to take medication. Yeah, I'm, I don't have to take any medication, so. Yeah, nah, I, I, I'm doing well overall as, as of now, still, you know, it's some days better than others, but even my worst days are just like, meh, just a little bit worse than usual. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, I've already been talking so much. Good. <laughs> These videos always take longer than I think the film. So yeah, yeah. That so that yeah. That's my mental health check-in. I'm okay, <laughs> doing okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right right now, since it's spring and the weather's getting so nice, so that kind of makes it worse because I want to go outside and be outside, but I have to limit my time. I can ride my bike. I have my bike here, so that's good. I can do that. But yeah, yeah, and, and it sucks because my apartment is so small. I mean, uh, uh, when I was living at my parents' house and I was younger, I I would often spend uh, all day in the house, but you know, the house was a lot bigger, so I could like move around to room to room and go outside a lot easier to the backyard. Uh, here, I feel a lot more con confined in just basically two rooms, but, but I. I have gone over to my parents' house a lot lately there since uh, uh, no one in our family has been sick and I am not aware of anyone I know that has died from COVID. So yeah, there's another thing to be thankful for. So yeah. Yeah, but I still can't wait until this is over. And then I can like, like go out and see a movie in the movie theater. That's, that's one of the things I miss because there were, there were, a few movies that were coming up that I re really wanted to see, but they've been pushed back and delayed. So yeah, that's, that's the big thing that I miss. So yeah, but other than that and my hair, I'm doing just fine. So yeah. Yeah, so, dang, this, this video is going to be like 20 minutes long, so, yeah, I better end it right now, so, that's going to be it for this vlog, uh, until next video, goodbye.